Minnesota with the win. Lynch is the number one seed in the Mountain West Conference and at least a share of the Mountain West Conference regular season title for an unprecedented third straight year. Nobody's done that in the 20 year history of the league. Utah State overachieving. Pick ninth. They're presently in second. Utah State. 13 and 1 at home. They won their last six in blowout fashion. This one doesn't feel like it's going to be blowout either way. I don't think so, Carl. It's going right down to the end. Could be overtime. Caleb covered up by Merrill. Caleb Martin, tall floater on the baseline. Bothered by Merrill. More great D. Bean has the board. And Kata lost his shoe. Lost his shoe. He's pointing to the official. Play and on. That's a large shoe to be lost, too. So Kata <laughs> playing with one. And now finally, they'll stop it down. And. DG Nelson is going to have to go look for a big yeah. shoot. Yep, yeah, right. It's the right in front of the herd, the student section. God, it's the Mountain West. Play on. Yeah. Big time basketball. Namiyash Keita, now shoeless Namiyash Keita. He's in the low post. Somebody stepped on his foot. <laughs> oh. Still want the rebounds. He's just got it. I mean, you talk about guys biting the sneaker. How about kicking him? Kick him with a sneaker. My players used to bite guys in the sneakers, but we didn't lose them too often. I mean, whatever, whatever you got. So it's a jungle out there, Carter. You got to be ready. So now play on. And Merrill does. Merrill dumps it off. There's Kata. Two shoes, one shoe. Doesn't matter. The big man from Portugal hammers it home. Aggies by six. Great pass by Merrill. The defense surrounded him. Two guys came to him. Dumped it off. Kata had an easy dunk. Caroline, bothered by Brock Miller. Draws the double kick out. Cody. I love it. Caroline went inside, Cody. I love that. Ooh. Got hit. Poked away. Porter knocks it away from Cody Martin into the hands of Kata. Merrill, bountiful Utah. Tried to drop it off. Instead, it's out of bounds. Let's check with Evan. Well, Carter, I have both shoes on. I can confirm <laughs> that out of halftime. Also, Eric Musselman frustrated with the defense they played on Sam Merrill. He'd been a priority all week. He obviously had 17 points in that first half. He felt like offensively, Cody Martin being out of the lineup down the stretch really affected their flow. He's their point guard. And really, he felt good about the rebounding effort that they had against Utah State through the first 20. Ellis. Evan, we heard Alton shoot around this morning when Coach Musselman was saying, don't let Merrill catch it. Don't let him catch it comfortably. Well, Kata with a stick back there and a hot start in the second half for Kata. Big keys, the key to the game for the Aggies. Caroline, Kata clears it. It was a 4-0 start in the first half for Utah State. And it's a 4-0 start in the second half for Utah State. As you know, Carter, the first five minutes of the second half, and every game is key. Who's going to grab the game by the throat? Merrill to Porter. Long rebound for Thurman, who was tremendous in the first half. 14 points for yep. Treshawn Thurman, senior from Omaha. Wow. And another bucket here. Thurman with the first points of the second half. Oh, 16 in the game. Doing a great job now. Where would the Wolfpack be without Treshawn Thurman? Aggies got to get some help now. Porter, Brock Miller, somebody's top of the top of you guys got to help out. That's it. Give it to the big fella. Kata Thurman meets him at the rim, gets the block, and sends the Wolfpack on the run. That's a foul given by Porter at midcourt, and it was a hard foul at midcourt. I mean, that could be. It's right now. It's common foul, but that's. I mean, that's what used to be called intentional. And Eric Musselman is arguing hard for yep. a flagrant one call. Yep, he is counseling the referees aggressively. Got a pump fake once in a while, big guy. Great block. Now watch this foul at midcourt. Yep. yep. All right, it was the third personal yep. foul on Porter. Caleb Martin, boarded by Cody. Stick back, rims out. Kata clears it. Merrill pushing on Caleb Martin oh. and rattling it home. First points of the second half. 19 in the game for Sam Merrill. <laughs> Caleb Martin right back at Merrill. Blocking foul called. 
Caleb Martin aggressive to the rim. There we are in transition. Nice crossover by Merrill. Stopped on a dime. Boom. We're attacking the other end and going to the rim. Caleb Martin. Good call. Bean, Bean jumped in, slid in. Good call. Bean second. Caleb Martin playing through a rolled ankle. He suffered in the Fresno State game. 11 in this game. And All right. The crowd's going crazy. Look at him. He owns a pizza place here in Logan. It's like he spent a night in Utah in a cave up in the hills. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't been to class in two months. Abel Porter now has three personal fouls. Merrill, they switch off. Caroline takes Merrill. Inside, Cato. Kick to the corner. Miller. Huge three for Brock Miller, who's been in a cold shooting slump. But he's there when the Aggies need him most. Largest lead of the game for Utah State. I go inside to Caroline. Bean cannot go on him inside. Thurman has a huge answer. 19 in the game for Treshawn Thurman. Thurman's a 23% three-point shooter. He is two for two tonight. Yeah, he's playing great, playing great. Kata ripped away. Thurman wow. steals it away from Kata. Outlet, Cody, Jazz, Johnson. Wow. With a yep. Foul on Kata. That is the third on Kata. You're watching. March to March presented by California Almonds. Utah State builds a double digit lead on the three from Miller. But a big foul sends us to a timeout. But three fouls. I would rest him, Carter, for a couple of minutes now with a seven point lead. Our five hour energy player profile on the big man from Ferrero, Portugal. That's near Lisbon. 72 block shots. He doesn't have one in this game, but he does have his ninth double double of the season. And he was terrific, actually, in the first meeting. Eight points, 10 rebounds, five blocks. Yep. With our producer, Kamani Morales, director, Warren Pick, Carter Blackburn, Pete Gillen, Evan Washburn, and I think the magic is back here at the Spectrum. No question. It's one of the toughest venues in the country to play when they're fired up like tonight. I love this guy, Jazz Johnson Carter. He comes in, he's instant energy. We talked to Coach Musselman today this afternoon. He says he changes the game when he comes in. Two years of Portland, and that one spins out. Yep. But Jazz got two fouls early. Had to sit for a while. Cody had two. Sat for the last 316 of the first half. What a great matchup now. Cody Martin against Sam Merrill. Now Kata with three stays in the game team. Yeah, I get him out, Carter. For me, just a couple minutes, give him a cup of coffee, no cream, and then get him back in. Merrill, they call that a long two. It's called a long two for Merrill, giving him 21. What a shooter. Ooh. God, I was, I was at media day. We talked to Sam Merrill, and somebody said, uh, we rate you the 27th best shooter in the country. Ooh. So Sam Merrill says, 27th? Let's go back to that last bucket. <laughs> this was called a two. Well, that looks like a three. They can review that and put, yep. more, put one more up on the board. For now, it's a two. And clearly that was a three. Yeah, it's a three for sure. Yeah. They can check it now. Stop stop it. That's right. I would Craig Smith, I'd get after. I say, hey, stop, maybe after the first free throw. Boy, that's a critical, critical point yeah. in this basketball game. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm glad Craig Smith's taking Cater out now just for a couple of minutes. Just get him a blow and say, hey, listen, you got three. Be smart. <laughs> Still, that's still in the books as a two. Yeah. And that last foul was on Kata? Yep. Yes, it was. It was, yeah. That's that is just Oh, Pete. 
at the 15.08 mark. Kata gets his fourth personal yep. foul. One of the best shot blockers in the nation. Oh, on the bench. That's an offensive foul on Cody Martin. Yep. That is his third. So Kata does get his fourth. This is two huge calls against Utah State. A two that should have been a three. Yep. And then the prior to this, the foul on Kata, his fourth. Yep. Yep. Cody Martin getting that foul. Sam Merrill does a terrific job defensively, Carter. He's so competitive. He's not a great athlete, but he's smart and takes charges very often and very well. And that's, yeah. Johnson tried to draw one on Porter. Play on. Yeah. Merrill poked away. Cody nearly got it into the backcourt. Tremendous matchup. Two terrific players. <clears throat> Bean off the bounce. Lots of contact. And finally, a foul called. Let's go back to that fourth foul on Kata. Throwing inside. Boy, that's yeah. tough. That's tough. He's saying, hey, when it to me, that was a tough one, Carter. I agree. That's a play on. Uh, and Bean was digging down. Might have even been yep. closer to a foul on Bean. Yep. It's now Bean at the line. Justin. Justin Bean. I heard it. Judge Roy Bean from the Cowboy days, right. Scott. He was, yep. I don't know if Justin's any relation. I don't think so, but uh, Justin's got a better jump shot. Than they Judge love Roy. Mr. Bean around here. They do. The toughness, energy, and Craig Smith talked about his D, especially in the games New Mexico and San Diego State. Hard fought wins for Utah State with Justin Bean. Mm -hmm. Some yeah, excellent now. energy. Now Brito's going to check back into the game for Brock Miller. No. Justin Bean, good play at Carter. Red shirt freshman from Moore, Oklahoma. Well, Kata sits. Can Utah State keep up its defensive effort against the pack? They keep attacking the basket now. If I'm the Wolf Pack, that's it. Carolina in tight. Bothered inside. Merrill got a hand on it. And now Caleb stops in the paint. Caleb shot fake around Merrill. Caleb Martin with another tough two. What a great basket by Caleb Martin. Got more moves to the can of worms, Scott. He's terrific. 13 now for Caleb. Porter sprints down on Jazz Johnson. Tight handle. Bean finds it cutting. Merrill blocked oh. the rim. They are going to count it. Two points for Merrill. Two more. 23 in the game for Merrill. Good call. He's on the glass. <clears throat> nice backdoor cut by Sam Merrill. The ball goes, hits the glass. No, nope, can't do that. Good call by the official. <clears throat> Pick and roll with Caroline. Roll to the basket. Bean cannot guard him inside if he gets the basketball. Merrill with a bump. Got away with one. Caleb Martin on the wing. Eight to shoot. Caleb in the paint. Foul on the floor. With eight seconds on the shot clock, got the foul on Sam Merrill. His first. But already five team fouls on Utah State. This is just how it started for the Aggies when they got whistled. It was six fouls in the first five and a half minutes to begin this game for Utah State. Five fouls in the first six and a half minutes of the second half against the Aggies. Caleb in tight on Merrill again. Misses this runner. Porter boards it. Long outlet for Bean. Bean finds a cut in free throw. And Utah State back up by double digits. Largest lead of the game at 11. I call a timeout now. Bob Coach Musselman stopped the bleeding. They're out of sync, Carter. Taken away. Brito rips it from Caroline. It's a foul. Yes, sir. Caroline fouls Brito on the way up. There we go. Good defense by Utah State on the run. Brito with the finish. They're flying. Aggies are flying. Here we go again. Steal, Brito. Good hands. Goes to the cup. Caroline up and away with the body. Two free throws now for Brito. Aggies are flying, Carter.
feels like a quad one game, doesn't it? No question. It's like an NCAA tournament game. Both these teams are deserving of the NCAA tournament bids. Nevada's already in, and I think Utah State's got a great chance to go. People in the committee are watching, obviously, tonight, so they got to love this team. This is a big-time team. Jerry Palm at the beginning of the day for a flurry of activity. Oh, uh, projecting Nevada as a five in the West, Utah State as an 11 in the Midwest. But as you know, Utah State is one of three teams in the country with Duke and North Carolina with a top 25 non-conference schedule, right, with 10 wins on the road or neutral sites. That's big time for me. Jazz Johnson big time three. Get it back to single digits. I love all that jazz. He's terrific. Put him in my suitcase. Bring him home. Well, Utah State's biggest near win of the season is when they had Houston by 13. And then the Cougars came back and won that one by 10. That's out of bounds off the Jazz Utah State ball. So in this one, a double-digit lead on 12th ranked Nevada. And the Aggies hold on for what you would think would be a clinching win for an at-large spot. Exactly. But who knows, but <clears throat> they deserve to be in a big dance. Ah. Oh. Turned it over on the yeah. out-of-bounds, and then Caroline took a pop from Porter. Yeah. Abel Porter, three turnovers. He's hurting them. Good player. He's struggling tonight. <laughs> Jazz Johnson in tight on Merrill off the window. Missed it. All out. Waller for that rebound, and it's a tie-up. Possession to Utah State. Aggies by nine. There we go. You heard about the Bulls running in Pamplona, Spain. What about the Aggies running in Cache Valley, Logan, Utah. Here we go to the hoop. Reno, five, stay with us. Got a great one in Logan. A 10-point lead for Utah State on the 12th-ranked Nevada Wolfpack as our March to March presented by California Almonds continues. Let's take a look at our AT&T game summary. A tremendous defensive effort by Utah State. Exactly, Carter. Holding Nevada to 36% from the field. They defended it three very well, 5-15. And Sam Merrill putting on a clinic, 23 points. You know, Thurman's doing a great job for Nevada, but he needs help. And we have an important update for you. Remember back to this three that was originally ruled a two by Sam Merrill. Clearly a three, and the officials took a look and said, yes, that is a three-pointer. So Aggies by 10 now rather than by nine. And let's check in with Evan Washburn. Well, guys, you could sense the urgency from that last Nevada huddle. Eric Musselman, not a guy who's going to panic with what he has, the experience he has with this team, but he flat out said, we have to go now, almost saying, if you're going to flip the switch, this is the time to do it. And, guys, Jordan Caroline is, again, clearly not himself. You touched on it in the first half, dealing with flu-like symptoms. It's run through the whole team, and there's some, some concern here that he can kind of finish this game at his level, which is obviously all conference type. Right, usually elite. He lost that one, kick out Merrill in the corner. Would have been a huge one. That's a break for Nevada. Trailing by double digits again, the pack, after the adjusted three for Merrill. Go inside, Taylor's got three, attack. Attack Thurman. And he does, and there's the fourth on Quinn Taylor, meaning Kata and Taylor, the two starting big men for Utah State. Both have four with 11.17 to go. Smart basketball by the Wolfpack. Thurman attack, good call. Hit him with the body. Yes, sir. Part of 11 minutes, 17 seconds is an eternity. Eternity. That is the significant foul trouble for Utah State with four, and then Thurman and Martin with three, but certainly a bigger, bigger, bigger issue for Utah State. So Dwayne Brown Jr. at 6'6 six, six comes in. You get smaller with Brown on the floor. Porter knocked that out of bounds. Nevada keeps it. Well, we know Nevada can come back. I think you just spin it back at the NCAA tournament last year, Sweet 16 run. Comeback wins over Tech. I mean, they were down 22 against Cincinnati and came back. Both come from behind wins. Yeah, they can do it. They're talented. They're a great coach. Nine to shoot here. Johnson gets past B. Oh. All the way to the rim. 
He's tremendous. Now, he's got a pressure here. Put good pressure here now on Abel Porter. Porter. Picks up the dribble. Merrill's there to help him. Oh, something. That's a lot of contact to What's Martin that? Porter. Apparently, it's a play on. Play on. And now here's a foul away from the ball. That's on Caleb Martin. That's the second on Caleb. Yeah. That's, that's a foul there by Caleb, I thought, on the handoff. No call. And then somehow after that, a sec. Uh, Second foul that was called on Caleb. Yep. So his second personal. Thurman brings it up. He's done everything for the pack tonight. Thurman off the bounce. Shot fake to the rim. Trying to keep it alive, but it's into the hands of Brito for the Aggies. On the road. Here's Georgia. Get up. Ten-point game. Ten we'll, minutes to go. We'll pack, keep attacking the rim. Try to get them in foul trouble. That's it. Attack the rim. Carolina on beam. That's what he's got to do, Carter. Forget the jump shot. What are you trying to prove? Attack the rim. So there's the Carolina. Just his third bucket of the game. Two for 11 prior to that two for Jordan Carolina. And he's sick, as Evan said, Carter, you mentioned before, but he's still got to attack the rim. Brito in tight, drawing a foul on Cody Martin. That's the fourth on Cody Martin at 9.37. We go to push it ahead. In transition. Nice finish by Brown, the senior. Senior night. They'll remember that one forever. Shooting two. Brito attacking. Yep. Cody Martin with the foul. And for now, Cody is staying on the floor with four personal fouls. To Evans' report, I mean, Eric Musselman doing that last time out, saying now's the time. Yep. And even though Cody Martin gets his fourth foul, he's staying in the game with 9.37. Yep. I pull him out, Carl, just for one minute. Get your breath. Just be smart now. We need you to win the game. Eric Musselman is a lot smarter than me, but I give him a, a blow just for a second. <clears throat> Utah State is led by as many as 13. On the bounce, there's a foul on Bean, and that is the 17 foul on Utah State. And so we're going to have free throws the rest of the way because now it's the Nevada in the bonus. Next foul by the. Yep, one and one coming. Yep. Nevada shoots 72% from the line. So that's important. Got to keep going to the line. 926 is an eternity. Now Cody's going to take a break now. So I like that. Oh, with quickness. <clears throat> Caleb gets the first of two. Try to score with the uh, clock stop quarter when you can. When you're behind like this. Craig Smith, the head coach of the Utah State Aggies, the native of Stephen, Minnesota. Population circa 900. Yep. The Tigers, a nine-man football power. And they're already loving Craig Smith here in the Cache Valley. No question, Cody. He's a top winning percentage in the country for a first-year head coach. Feed off a look from Abel Porter. Greg Smith, 23 and 6 coming into tonight, 73%. No head coach is good. How about Justin Hudson? Third. Fresno State, exactly, Carter, 71%. He's 20 and 8. This league has some great coaches. Caleb takes the three. Tap out. Jazz Johnson runs it down. Fresh 30 for the Wolfpack. With Cody Morton on the bench, Jazz Johnson. Long three. Fight for the rebound, one by Brito. Bodies on the deck all night. One thing about Utah State Guard is three or four guys in the paint rebound every time. Merrill switches to the left, bump from Thurman, play on. Henson into the game for Nevada with all the foul trouble for the pack. Caleb off the bounce, attacks, hammered by Brito going to the rim. Caleb Martin is not backing down from anybody. 
Aggies left to run, push it ahead. Porter's got it, going hard to the rim. Nice dump off. Bean with the finish. And we see, as you said, Cody attacking. Good call, he put his arms up, but he leaned into him. Referees are not going for that bailout. And Caleb attacking gets to the line, seeking to become the first back-to-back -back Mountain West Conference Player of the Year and the conference's 20-year history. Yep. <clears throat> and Porter comes back in for the pack, and you know Caleb does over 60% of his scoring on the year after halftime. And it's going to take a terrific effort by Caleb to lead the pack back. One of two here. Porter, the walk on to scholarship starting point guard. The Aggies 10 and 1 with him running the point. God, as you know, he played seven minutes a game last year. So he really worked hard. And Craig Smith did a great job building his confidence and he's doing a very solid job for the team. Maryland tied Porter, blocked it. Caleb Martin spins behind. Bean locks it free. Aggies get it. Brown brings it back. Finds Merrill. Bounce right at Porter. Oh, Bean hammered on the way up. Wow. Bean took a tough tumble. Whoa. Man. Trey Porter with a hard foul on Bean, and that sends us to an official timeout. Eight to go. It's Utah State in a fight with Nevada. Aggies by nine. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by the Ram 1500. Motor Trends 2019 Truck of the Year. By the makers of 5-Hour Energy. Get back to 100%. And by Principal. Investments, retirement, insurance. We can help you plan for that. Stu Morrill took the Utah State Aggies to the NCAA tournament eight times in 13 years out of the Big West and the WAC, including at large in 2006. The best finish for the Aggies in the Mountain West <laughs> Conference was in his last season when they finished fourth. Stu in the house tonight. He's a great coach. He was a disciple of Mike Montgomery at Stanford. Thought he had more plays than Shakespeare. He's unbelievable. Oh. A million plays. Terrific coach and uh, did a wonderful job. He was in the Big West with him, and then the WAC, Western Athletic Conference, and then uh, the, you know, the Mountain West. So great coach and a class guy. We wish him well in his retirement. With White Vicky, and it was nice when Craig Smith came over to say hello to Coach Morrow before the game. Yep. We're going back to the last foul. That's Porter and Bean getting tangled up. Porter got the common foul, and they were just checking to see if there was anything beyond common, i.e. flagrant, and nothing there. It's going to be a common foul on Porter. That's just his second personal foul. He's one of the few guys who's not foul trouble in this game. Yep. Nope. Do they call Stu Morrill the Bard? I mean, if he has more plays than Shakespeare. Yes, yeah, he, no, he had a million plays, Coach. It's unbelievable. I don't know how the guys remembered it. I mean, uh, I'm sure you were a Shakespeare fan. I know you were at Syracuse, but, uh, you know, well, Stu Morrill had a million plays. I'm for, telling you. For the pack beat, heavy is the head that lies the... Yes, yes, heavy is the hand that, uh, yep. Like, the where's like the head? Crown, yeah, right? where's the crown? Yep, that was Henry IV. Something like that. Uneasy <laughs> lies, <laughs> uneasy lies the head, where's the crown, Card. I know that stuff. <laughs> English major Pete yeah, Gill, well, Fairfield University. Yeah, I was experimental admissions, but I, I oh. know a little bit about Billy Shakespeare. But you had a wonderful education at the Q's, communications, and, uh, Taking off like Poli Sci as well. Now, Poli meanwhile, it's, uh, this is an extended discussion with Bob Staff, and then if there's, yeah. Yeah. if we get any explanation here, we'll let you know. And I think this helps Nevada a little bit, Carter. It gets Utah State a little bit out of their rhythm, calms yeah. them down. So it, it, the question was how many team fouls were there on Nevada, because it, they were lined up for one and one, but that was just the sixth team foul on Nevada, okay. and they did call that on the floor yeah. on Porter. So no one and one. Porter subs out of the game with two, but this will be the last non-shooting yeah. foul of the game. Yep. So again, Utah State thought Utah State thought it was a one and one. Taylor 
attacks. Taylor gets to the rim. Back into the game with four fouls. Quinn Taylor puts the Aggies up by 11 again. God, he played his best game last game for the Aggies against San Diego State. A double-double. Quinn -double. Taylor stepping up. He's been around forever, 25-year-old, man. He's on an LDS mission. Caroline missed the three. Cody Martin fouled on the floor. So Cody back into the game with four as well. Two minutes after he picked up his four. Little stop-and-go dribble. Quint Taylor, 6'8", redshirt senior. Boom, nice finish. They need him to stay in the game, Carter. That foul on Brito sending Cody Martin to the line. One and one. Well, this is an action-packed one in the Mountain West Conference between Utah State and Nevada. And coming up next, our March to March presented by California Almonds continues with Boise State at UNLV. On the run, Brito finds Brown. Shot fake. Blocked oh! by Thurman. Trayshawn Thurman doing it again for Nevada. Yep. He's the hero tonight for the Wolfpack. Cody Porter <laughs> reaches in. Foul! Count the bucket with a foul on Abel Porter. So Cody Martin comes back into the game with four, and he comes back in aggressive. Yeah, he's their glue Carter. There's everything for them. Thurman with the block, great block. Excellent defense, leads to good offense. Here we go, Cody. Got fouled three times. Count it. Free throws critical for Nevada. They had a great free throw run and shoot around today. They made 48 in a row to close out shoot around. Eric Musselman said, I've never seen that. And then sure enough, as you would fear in the game, they're not making 48 straight. No, the under 60% got it in the free throw line, the Wolfpack. It's not good on the road in the big time game. Merrill has 24 in the game. Yep. He's driving the ball, both teams, unless you have a wide open shot. Four to shoot. Miller, three to shoot. Miller pulls up, launches. Rebound, loose ball taken by Cody Martin in Nevada. Big possession for the Wolfpack. Cody, backing down Miller, finds a cutting. Caroline rejected by Taylor. Jazz Johnson runs it down. Cody Martin on the wing. Got bump play on. Aggies do a good job building a wall, Carter protecting the rim. Thurman off the shot, fake in tight, Jazz Johnson. Three to shoot, Jazz into the hands of Thurman, power dribble, spins wow. in with a shot clock, winding down Trey Sean Thurman. Wow. 21 for Nevada. And a great night, transfer from Omaha. I get a timeout now. I like it. I like it for Greg Smith. There's a timeout after Utah State led by as many as 13. Eric Musselman's Wolfpack have fought back to make it a five-point game. With a you want him there if you're a Wolfpack fan. The pack coming back again. Down by 13. They've whittled it to two. Feels like a lot longer than 4.18 to go. But that's what we got on the clock in regulation. Yeah. Go inside of Kata, get the big fella to ball. Kata, tough feed from Porter, and Thurman made it even tougher. Kata's got to seal him, Porter. That time he didn't seal, you don't know where the defense is. Go to the defense and seal him. That Kata's last still an experience. Yep, that offensive board by Thurman was his 10th, so double-double for Thurman. Lob, Kata, missed him. Brito there to pick it up. Brito, fading and Ooh. fading on the baseline. Ending that drought for Utah State. Tough shot. Going back to man-to-man, -man car. I like that. Change your pace. Make them think. The more athletes think, the slower their feet get now. They're getting a little hesitant, a little tentative. Cody, runner, into the hands of Brito. The last two times they changed possessions, the Wolfpack missed their shots. Great coaching by Craig Smith. Oh, and then Thurman gives a hard foul going for it on Merrill. That's the fourth on Thurman. With the Mountain West Conference title on the line. A four-point game with 3.33 to go. And a sold-out spectrum in Logan.
The first sellout crowd in four years at the Spectrum here in Logan, Utah. It is standing room only, and they're getting a great game. Our Mountain West Conference standings, and so you see with Utah State, one game back in the loss column, and again, one more game after tonight for Utah State. Two for Nevada. A Nevada win tonight, they clinch at least a share. The number one seed, Utah State, would need to win their next two, and including Tuesday at Colorado State, our principal financial game plan. Well, Pete, evaluate how it's gone so far. Well, Nevada, slow down Merrill. No, 24 points for Merrill. Points in the paint, yep. 28 points is excellent for Nevada. For Utah State, transition D. Yes, they're doing a good job with that. No fast break points for Nevada. And battle of the board, yes, one rebound margin. So they've done a good job in that area. So uh, I think Carter's going to come down to free throws at the end. That's important. Uh, and uh, Sam Merrill, Carter. Stat with him. He's outscored the starting backcourt of another team 12 times this season. He himself has outscored all right, the opposition starting back on 12 games this season. He's got 24 tonight. Let's make it 25 for the sixth best free throw shooting percentage wise player in the nation. 91%. There is the long list of foul trouble, mostly for Utah State. But Cody Martin scored huge for Nevada. Well, the Wolfpack has come back from 13 down. Six point game. They'll have to fight through the herd and the sellout crowd here in Logan. God, it's one of the best venues in the country. Caleb tripped on the way to the rim. Caleb takes a tough tumble right in front of the herd. I mean, a tough one. The Boise State at UNLV game is underway and now available at CBSSports.com slash CBSSN. We'll get you out there as soon as this one is over. That is the fifth on Quinn Taylor, and he is fouled out. So now you bring Bean back into the game. Quinn Taylor. Who has four. Quinn Taylor, the fifth-year senior, 25 years old, on his senior night, fouls out, but gave him some excellent minutes. He's a glue guy, Carter. Does defense, rebounding, really shares the ball, swings it. Terrific player. The stats don't do him justice when he contributes to the Aggies. First to two for Caleb Martin, and free throws down the stretch are going to be critical for Nevada. Got them both. Two possession game. They'll take the time. Got a great battle here now. Caleb Martin against Merrill, two of the top players in the Mountain West Conference. Trying to go inside to Cater now. He's going to roll. Oh. Take it away. Merrill under the hands of Cody Martin. And then Brito compounds it by fouling, stopping the clock at 258. Double bonus. That's two shots coming for Cody Martin. Yep. Sam Merrill made one of the few mistakes. Yep. Great defense by the defensive player of the year last season, Cody Martin. Ooh. Worst case scenario, stopping the clock, Cody for two. <clears throat> and after the slow shooting start from the line, Nevada is hitting him down the stretch. Cody gets both on this trip down to a two-point game. Yep. Jazz Johnson now, pressure. Do a good job pressuring Abel Porter. He can steal it from him, Carter. He's a good defender, good on-ball defender. Kata bumped by Thurman. Yes, and a foul. That is his fifth. Treshawn Thurman bumps Kata and fouls out with 2.47 to go. With 21 points, 10 rebounds. Oh, that's what gets Thurman fouled out of the game. Yeah, that wasn't a, a hard foul call. A that. physical game, too. Yeah, that's, exactly. that's what yeah. that gets called. Yeah. Now, Cade only shoots 56% from the free throw line, so you got to box out now if you're in Nevada. Hits the front end, earns the bonus. Cade is playing with four fouls, and now Thurman's fouled out. Mm -hmm. 
One of two. Porter clears it for Nevada in a three-point game. <laughs> Caleb's going to take over. He's going to shoot it. Draws three defenders, tipped away into the hands of Caroline. Down the baseline into Porter, and a foul called as Porter goes up. Looks like that's on Abel Porter, and he's fouled out. Utah State loses its starting point guard with 2.31 to go in the game. I think you might have to go with Brock Miller as an off guard. Have Merrill handle the ball. Crew Ainge, who started the first yep. 18 games at point guard, hasn't played nope. since January 19th. Yep. Here comes Brock Miller. Yep. So just as you said, Pete, I mean, you, you know Sam Merrill's going to be handling a lot exactly. now. Exactly. That's good and bad, because now he can't move without the ball as much. But he's a great player. He can play both positions. Great point, only 65% for the free throw line. Second one coming, double bonus. Both teams now double bonus. Free throws are going to determine this game, Carter. Down the stretch, going to be a lot of fouls. Porter missed them both. Merrill's going to bring it up, running point. Caleb Martin there to greet him. Brito gives a little screen and into the hands of Brito. You know what, Jad Johnson's a very good on-ball defender. Brito's got to protect it. They go inside to Kata. The big guy to ball. Tough screens on the yep. wing. Play on, five to shoot. Merrill, Kata diving down to the post. Merrill leans in, misses, play on. Porter has the rebound. Brito knocks it out. Caroline finally clears it. Jordan Caroline wants to push it. Caroline finds Cody Martin in transition. Cody will reset. Cody crossing over into the paint. Kick out. Caroline triple. Chance to tie. Merrill has the board. Caleb Martin picks him up in the backcourt. Merrill gets past it. Sam Merrill attacking into Caroline. Blocking foul on Jordan Caroline as Merrill attacks 94 feet yep they pressured Merrill in the perimeter took it to the basket with the left hand yep Caroline slid in just a little bit Carter the toughest call in the game the block charge but I think the referee's got this one right still moving a little bit with the right leg good call and Merrill almost automatic for two Almost. Well, they call it the announcer's whammy, but God, he's tired. You know what I mean? He's physically beat up. He's mangled, so he's, he hasn't sat at all in this game. This is the third straight game that he has played wire to wire. Now they're asking him to play point down the stretch. Exactly. It's the second. Makes it a four-point game, two possessions. A minute 27. Cody picks it up. Go by Brock Miller. I don't think he can stay in front of Cody. Caleb Martin on the catch over Merrill. Missed it. Caleb fighting for the rebound. It's out of bounds off of Caleb. They can go to the monitor to check. Under two minutes. Caleb's arguing it's off of the Aggies. Eric Musselman will use a timeout with a minute 16 in a four-point game for now. Aggie Bull and a four-point lead. Minute 16, we're going back to review that out of bounds. It's ruled out of bounds off of Caleb Martin, Utah State Bowl. Caleb misses, follows. Now who's it out of bounds off of? Looked like it was Merrill. Yeah, this stay. may be a better look. It looked like Merrill to that me, poke, Carter. Yeah, it sure does. Looks like that second poke by Merrill there. And that's why Caleb was so vociferously Asking for a review. Under two minutes, you can go to the monitor, and that's exactly what Sean Lehigh and Bob Staffen are doing. Huge call coming here, because with a minute 16, if it is reversed and it's Nevada ball, 
get a chance to bring it back to a one possession game and have a heck of a final minute closing here in Logan. Yeah, looked like Merrill to me, Carter, from this angle. Got a great camera crew. Now we're also trying to find out if Nevada was charged a timeout there because you're going to the review yeah. right now showing that Nevada's not been charged with a timeout and still three left for Eric Musselman. It is an official timeout, so Nevada not charged with a timeout. Still three up there for the pack, two left for Utah State. So it looked like Eric Musselman was ready to use a timeout, but because it's a, a review, it's an yep. official timeout, de facto timeout for both head coaches, wow. and you need it for the last minute 16. Great break for Nevada, Carter. You know, last minute 116 might take eternity. Let's have one more look. Again, it was ruled out of bounds off of Caleb Martin. Now this tap here. I think he, when he hit it the second time, I, I think it was Merrill Carter. Might be wrong. Well, and, and just like in football, the, the rule book says indisputable video evidence. I mean. Looks like he hit it that last time. I it sure does. Agree, but, uh, <clears throat> So again, I mean, you, you got a couple of touches, but this is the one that matters. Yep, this is the Merrill, last touch. And I mean, you, 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 you see it with that left yep. hand poking yes, it. exactly. And so a, a reversal would give it to Nevada with a minute 16. For right now, Utah State ball, and it is Nevada ball. So it's reversed. Out of bounds off Merrill. Credit to the officials for going to the monitor and getting that one right in the critical possession. So 30 seconds for Nevada, fresh 30. Yep. So if you wanted to take it down, you give Utah State the basketball with about 40 seconds in a one possession game. Big thing now for Nevada here, go to my best player, all right, Caleb Martin, let him go one on one. That's what I would do, Carter. If you're the Aggies, Utah State, don't foul. Two possession game right now, you're up four, don't commit a foul. Make them make it over and get five guys in the mud rebounding if you're Utah State. Back to the monitor one more time. No explanation yet as to what this monitor review is about. Maybe double checking the timing, but apparently we're squared away with a minute 16 and 30 to shoot. Crowd's been unbelievable here, Carter. Great student crowd. Cody Martin takes it in the corner. Caleb off a double screen. Cody takes the three, spins Ooh. out. Caroline has the rebound and a foul called on Kada. It is his fifth. He's fouled out. Oh, devastating. Quint Taylor's gone. Now Kada's gone. Shot goes in and out. Cody Martin. Yeah, hit him with his hip. It was incidental, but. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Carolyn might have fell on his own, huh, Carter? That's a tough one. Yeah, that's a tough well, one. Well, yeah. I mean, Thurman's the foul out was a tough one, too. Yeah, exactly. And now Kata's yeah. is a tough one, and yeah. Jordan Carolina to the line for two. Yeah. So again, that foul stopping the clock, minute seven. Who's gonna get the rebound now for Utah State? It's gotta be Sam Merrill. Utah State has lost three of its starters. Quinn Taylor, Abel Porter, and Mish Kata have all fouled out. <laughs> Spins out. Bean and then Carroll reaches in and fouls. So 94 feet away, that will send Bean to the line for two. Yes, who was gonna get the rebound? The answer is Justin Bean. Wow. Got it. It's a three-point game now. They get a chance to go up. It's not a good foul by Caroline. And it's the fourth on Jordan Caroline. Now the free throw misses plaguing Nevada to this point. Exactly, Carter. 72% coming into the game, but they really struggled at the line this evening. Now Beans is a 72% free throw shooter. Doesn't take many. 
Two here, double bonus rest of the way. The tight, physical, hotly contested game we expected. Bean misses the second. And with one minute to go in Logan, four point game, Caroline, offensive foul. And that's the fifth on Jordan Caroline. He is fouled out. Good help defense. Bean steps in. Good call. He went by Brock Miller, but Bean did a great job stepping in. Number 12 there. Close. And Eric Musselman, as soon as Caroline came back to the bench, says you have to know you have four yep. in that situation because yep. staying aggressive, fouls out. Yep. Less than a minute to go. Caroline's out of the game now. Yep. Rito sprinting ahead. No fouls, Eric Musselman says. No fouls. Let's see. They didn't get the message. He's irate with Jazz Johnson because Eric Musselman was screaming, no fouls, no fouls, no fouls. And Jazz Johnson gives one at 51.5. One of the best free throw shooters in the country, Carter. Missed one before, but over 90% from the line. That's the fourth on Jazz Johnson. Thurman and Carolina fouled out for Nevada. Taylor, Porter, and Kata have fouled out for Utah State. Short-handed for the last 51.5 on yep. both sides. 27 in the game for Merrill. Make it 28 and eight of those from the foul line. That's a lot of outs. <laughs> Out, out, yep. Oh. It's in, nearly missed another. Aggies trying to bring it home in front of the sellout crowd. Cody Martin, travel with Bean's hand in his face. Cody Martin caught it. Every clutch play, he makes it. Shot to beat Boise State, a winner. Big time shot by Cody Martin. And then Cody gives a foul on Bean, and Musselman's hot again because Cody's just fouled out. <laughs> Cody Martin coming up. Not a great three point shooter. He fakes coming off the screen. Splash. When he gets too anxious. Tries to steal it from Brito. Good call. He fouled his man. To make it clear, Musselman's upset with his team right now because of the fouls. Exactly. Yep. Now, B doesn't take a lot of them, so. Stepped up. He's four for five from the line tonight is Bean. Cody Martin fouls out. So three have fouled out on both sides. Yep. Bean, 72% coming into the game. Gets them both. Timeout, Aggies. Adam Zucker with you in New York. Boise State and UNLV well underway. The Broncos on top right now. RJ Williams with eight points. But first, we got to wrap things up in Logan, Utah with Carter, Pete, and Evan. CAA tournament for the exactly Aggies. Exactly, Carter. Quadrant one win. I'll tell you what, going to Colorado State's a tough game. Nico Medved's done a great job at Colorado State. That's a tough game coming off this one for Utah State. That's a toss-up in Fort Collins. But you know the pack's not done yet. No, nope, nope. 43 seconds in a five-point game, long way. They got a big heart and they got a great coach. Great player, so it's not over yet. Caleb's going to shoot it. Caleb gets past Rab Rab hammers it home. It's a charge taken by Merrill. Wipe out the dunk. Was Merrill in the cylinder or not? He takes a tremendous charge. Yep. Oh. Outside the restricted area, Carter. The charge was better than the dunk. Oh, my goodness. An incredible dunk. 
a better charge. Jazz Johnson reaches in and commits the foul. And now Jazz Johnson is fouled out for Nevada. Yeah. What a play by Sam Merrill to set up and take the charge with yeah. Caleb Martin soaring over him. Yeah. Wipe out the dunk by Martin and give it to Utah State. Sam Merrill earned it. Unbelievable. What a great, great play by the young man. Utah State's taking about six or seven charges, Carl. I mean, that's a big part of the game. Craig Smith is, Jan is Johnson again, fouls out. That's now four of the Nevada starters who have fouled out in this game. Wow. Caleb Martin. Johnson off the bench, so. Officially not a starter, but you got you got Porter and Caleb Martin in there, but still four players have fouled out for Nevada. And Miller to all the ice it for the Aggies. Great possession game now. It's a big, big shot. That Nevada needs a miracle now. Caleb Martin takes it. And a foul called on Merrill. Three shots coming for Caleb. Merrill for the foul on the three-point shooting, Caleb Martin. Said he didn't hit him, let's watch. Might have hit him in the face, I don't know. Did he get his elbow, Pete? Let's see. Shooting three. I couldn't tell Carter from this angle. Referee was right there. <clears throat> I mean, if anything is going to give Nevada a chance to get back in the game, three shots for Caleb Martin yep. at 21.3. Yeah. We're going back to the monitor again. There's a rule in coaching, Carter. Never foul a shooter, but never, ever, ever foul a three-point shooter. Sam was saying he didn't, but the referee was right there. This must be a timing issue. Yep. A couple seconds have been put back up, 23.3. So, double checking to make sure. Yep. 23 seconds showing right now. Foul cold. Clock continues to run, so yep. that's, that's a... Good correction there, 23 seconds. You never know yep. what a no. couple seconds. of seconds in this game is going to be. Exactly, Carter. Three shots coming for Caleb Martin. Right into the herd. Yep. That's going to be a lot of head shaking for both those men the rest of the way. Two for two. One possession game, Carter, right now. Sorry, two possessions. 78, 74. <clears throat> yep. Put the score up on the wrong side. There's a long run out. Brito. Brito spins it in. Beats Nevada to the rim. Caleb brings it back. Caleb Martin launches a three. Taken by Brown. Foul given. 8.8. .8. And Utah State is already dancing in March. Most anticipated game, Carter, about 10 years here. Crowd was unbelievable. Both these teams played like winners. This is a NCAA tournament type game. The best season since they won 30 games in 2010, 2011. They won the WAC. This is the best year in the Mountain West Conference, and it comes under the first year head coach, Craig Smith. And in the hands of Caleb, desperation time down by seven seconds, ticking away. Caleb will get hard to the rim, stopping it at 
It's a five-point game. Utah State looking for the over the top into the hands of Merrill and a chance to dribble it out. The Aggies are winners over Nevada. And the celebration begins for the herd and for all of Logan, Utah. Big Blue takes out number 12, Nevada. Great win for Utah State. Their defense is unbelievable. Sam Merrill is in the conversation for player of the year, along with Caleb Martin and Jordan Caroline. Great, great win for the Aggies. The magic is back in Dean Glenn Smith Spectrum. Here come the students. What a beautiful line on your resume in March. Yeah, they should be in now, Carter. Uh, they've been, uh, it's another quadrant win for them. They had one before with St. Mary's. Great, great win for Utah State. So your updated Mountain West Conference standing, it is now the Aggies on top. Tuesday night at Colorado State, Utah State, a chance to take the regular season title and the number one seed. And for Nevada, the seeding in the NCAA tournament gets tougher. Projected a five before this one, and now taking a third loss on the season, third road loss in conference. All of that can wait for another day because Utah State, a momentous 81-76 win over Nevada. And with the Aggies still celebrating here in Logan, for Pete Gillen, Evan Washburn, our entire CBS crew, I'm Carter Blackburn. We'll send you now to Boise State UNLV underway, the Thomas and Mac, Rich Waltz, Dan Dickow.